tonight on Chronicle. Love your Tonka trucks? The way to learn to operate equipment is actually doing it. That's the only way you learn. They're digging in for real at the Heavy Construction Academy. Number one priority in the school is safety. Uh, not so much just that school, but it's something we want them to carry out in the real job world. You get real hands-on. You get a lot of machine hours, a lot of time, and you just get experience. So from what I understand, the foreman said we were supposed to be 25 yards that way by this time. What's going on over here? <laughs> Really? Over there? Not yeah. over here? Yeah, you're taking your time? I thought this trench was perfect. I'm checking out this laser grade level and it looks great to me. I don't know what your problem is. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? What? That's why we came to school, right? Uh, heavy, <laughs> heavy Construction Academy. That's where we're at today in Brentwood. Uh, this is where people come from all over the country to learn how to use these big machines and then take those skills onto a job site. I know, it's a great place to come. They get to have training, hands-on training on all different kinds of equipment here. You actually kind of look like you fit in here. You know what you're doing. I do know what I'm doing. All right, fair enough. It's you that I'm not sure about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Driving these big rigs are what some little kids only dream about, but here one day they can learn how to back up a bulldozer or drive a dump truck. The Heavy Construction Academy specializes in training and certifying people in heavy equipment operation. It is a one-of-a-kind training ground for those who are interested in moving mountains of dirt and paving the way for all of us. As you start to get that rhythm, it'll start getting easier. They're in the cab at the controls, digging foundations, rolling over rough ground, and scooping up the earth. Many students at Brent Woods Heavy Construction Academy had never heard of a skid steer, let alone know how to maneuver it before coming here. But after completing the school's six-week program, they're certified to operate all of these machines. Right here is where they're trying to form a uh, flat bottom ditch, like what you would see on, in the middle of a highway. I've been interested in, in heavy equipment all my life. The school's founder, Ralph Del Vecchio, used to own an excavating company. He got an early start in the biz. He remembers sneaking into his uncle's yard next door to use his backhoe when he was just 12. I'd jump on the machine and start running it, and then he'd come out, he'd be mad at me, want to kick my rear end, and, uh, but he'd say to my mother, that son of a gun, you know, he, he did it. He's really doing it. He was just worried about safety and things like that. Stress do not rely on that reflective piece of glass called a mirror. You're basically, your head should always be on a swivel. Teaching safety is job one for instructors at HCA. Work sites can be cramped, busy places. And in an industry where even a small accident can be major, these students are taught to stay alert. Safety is number one. Number one priority in the school is safety. Uh, not so much just that school, but it's something we want them to carry out in the real job world. 70% of the class is spent operating equipment. The academy maintains 70 machines, so unlike other schools, students always have their own. A lot of the competitors across the country, they assign two students to a machine, so you have to share. And my belief is the only way you're gonna learn is being in the seat doing it. They all start basic operations of the controls, understanding what they're doing when they pull the control. Once they go from that step of it, they are actually getting to the point of moving material, breaking ground, getting into the ground, or moving material from point A to point B with the front end loaders, skid steers also. So you want to take from off of that corner as well, just try and keep it uniform, and then when that truck leaves, that's when you really pretty it up and get ready for the next truck. Each machine is numbered and outfitted with a radio, so students never have to flag down an instructor to ask a question. Negative. All they do is stay in the equipment, call us on the radio, and when they do talk to us, it's one-on-one -on -one to the instructor. Nobody else hears them. But like I said, we can communicate the whole field or right down to one person. We can talk to them right in the machine. They can keep working. They don't have to take their hands off the control. Most of the academy's students are veterans. So I did five years in the Marine Corps. I was an amphibious assault vehicle crewman. Uh, I was a 
in the turret. I was a vehicle commander. I did two deployments. James Natalie is attending tuition free thanks to the post 9-11 GI Bill. Weeks ago, he was in Alaska fishing in the Bering Sea. Now James is learning a new trade. My favorite is probably the loader, front end loaders, um, just because, I mean, you can move a lot of dirt really quick. You get real hands on. You get a lot of machine hours, a lot of time, and you just get experience. Fulton Reed's two young boys love trucks and are pretty jealous of their dad these days. The Connecticut landscaper hopes to land a job with better benefits after graduation. You grow and you see different jobs and you see what pays and what doesn't pay, and this definitely pays. You, know, you can either have the shovel or the machine. The school also teaches resume writing, interview skills, and salary negotiation, and says 75% of students get a job right after graduation, working on roads, building projects, or just moving materials from point A to point B. There is going to be a labor shortage of heavy equipment operators in the future. So this is why it's good to get into this type of a construction business because there's going to be a shortage. So, Ralph, how do you think I'm going to do in this thing? Excellent. Yeah? You can teach anyone? We can teach anyone. You understand what you're doing now, that's it. This is awesome. Look at that. Whoa! I'm moving mountains. Thanks for the lesson. My pleasure. That was fun. All the instructors here are phenomenal. I mean, they really know their stuff, so it's, it's important. The Heavy Construction Academy says this is the place for those hoping to really dig in and learn all they can. The way to learn to operate equipment is actually doing it. That's the only way you learn.